me what this talks about. We just said what we confess our Christian faith, born of the Virgin Mary. That's a special day. That was last week. You remember what special day happened last week? What day? It was, wasn't it? A week ago was Christmas Eve and then came Christmas Day. And that's the day that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary. And that's just what we said there in the creed. That's part of the faith that God has given to us, that Jesus was born. Today also is a special day. It's not one that gets celebrated nearly like we celebrate Christmas. But does anybody know what's special about today? Besides, there's no school on Sunday. That always makes it special, right? And there's no school tomorrow either. So that makes tomorrow special. But today is the very last day of this year. After today, there is no more 2023, which means tomorrow is what? What do you think? New Year's Day, a brand new year starts tomorrow. And when that comes, and it happens every year, doesn't it? We get to the end of the year and we start a new year. We usually think about time especially. The time that has gone past and the time that is coming that we call new. So, can you tell time? Yet? Yeah, okay, let me, let me see. Can you tell what time that is? I think that maybe comes second grade, third grade, I forget, you know, where you start to learn how to tell time. Let me make it a little easier for you. And Amazon at my house has even made it easier than this, but now that you know what time it is, what time is it? Did you see that? Yeah, it keeps going away. 10.57, you could tell time, right? Or if you really want to know fast what time it is, you just go, at my house, Alexa, what time is it? And Alexa tells me real fast what time it is. But you know how to tell time. Now, if you look out the window, can you tell me? Is it daytime or nighttime? Is it daytime or nighttime? Now we're let's, okay, it's daytime. And how do you know it's daytime? We're going to let these three answer now. How do you know it's daytime? Because it's light. And if it were nighttime, how would it be out there? It would be dark. So you do know how to tell time. Daytime and nighttime. Tell me. Is it spring, summer, fall, or winter time? What time? And how do you know it's winter time? Because it's cold outside, that's right. And when it's summertime, what is it like outside? It's warm, isn't it? And we can wear shorts, and sometimes we don't even have to wear socks and shoes. Not today, because it's winter time. So you do know how to tell sometimes. You know how to tell the season time. You know how to tell the day time. And if you really wanted to know more about time, you got a calendar like this. Has all the months on it. Has every day. You can look up your birthday and see if it's going to be on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or what day of the week your birthday might be on. A calendar helps us to keep the time also. And if you look at today's bulletin when you get back, it reminds you at the top, this is our contemporary service and it's December 31, 2023. Today is a very special day. It's a special time on the calendar because December is the 12th month, so that means we would write it 12, one, two, 
And today is the last day of the month, which is the 31st day of December. So we would write one, two, and then a three, one for today's date. And this year is 2023. And so you would put a two and a three. So when you write out today's date in numbers, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you say that real fast, it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, you can count to three, can't you? So you know what today's date is. And that's not going to happen on the calendar. I have no idea how long it will be. You're probably, I won't be around, you won't be around. Today we want to think about time and the time that God took to come here to be with us. That's what we call Christmas. And the time that God spends with us. Today is a day of worship and we spend time in God's house. But God promises us that every day, every hour of every day, every minute of every hour of every day, I am with you because you are my child. That's why I sent Jesus to make you my children. And I have promised to be with you from your first day and he hasn't had a whole lot of days, has he? From the first day until the very last day of your life, I am with you always. That's a promise whether it's the old year or the new year for each of us. So let's fold our hands and thank God for his gift of time and for his promise. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of time. Thank you, Jesus. For being with us through all the time of our living. Thank you, Jesus, for coming among us as our Savior. Bless our families and bless us as your children. Amen. Amen. You guys have a great day today and a brand new year tomorrow.